Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today we reveal the top five dogs with the most powerful bite in the world. My name is Annika Svenska and I have filmed the majority of the world's most powerful dog breeds. From experiencing what it's like to be a decoy myself and taking a bite on my forearm from a fully trained protection dog, which left me with permanent nerve damage. To ending up in hospital with multiple bite wounds from breaking up a fight between a huge wolf dog and a Rottweiler mix. I've watched wolves use their phenomenal bite force in front of me. Had a giant fish bite down on my entire hand. Swam under predators with some of the strongest bite forces on planet Earth. As well as watching other decoys take bites from Preza Canarios, Doberman, Rottweilers, Dutch Shepherds, German Shepherds, Malinois, and the list goes on. But the argument goes on to which is the world's most powerful bite and which dog breed delivers this bite. The answer may surprise you as some of the dogs you would expect to be on this top five actually are not. But today, with the help of expert research, we can reveal to you the top five most powerful dog bites in the world and which dog breeds are responsible for them. Don't go away. The world is full of animals with extreme bite forces, from sharks to crocodiles, hippopotamus to hyenas. One thing is certain, none of us would ever want to be on the end of one of these animals' jaws. But what about our dogs? Our domesticated wolf, who we trust to live alongside us, and our most precious family members. Did you know that our dog's ancestor, the wolf, has a normal bite force of around 400 pounds per square inch. But if he is protecting himself, a large wolf can bite down with over 1,200 pounds of pressure. You do not want to be messing with an angry or cornered wolf, that's for sure. So what about guard dogs, protection dogs, and those created to fight wolves? You might think their bite is pretty close to our angry wolves bite, but you would be wrong. Dog bite force myths need to be debunked. And this is what Animal Watch will do today, along with our scientific evidence. Some people will claim that certain dog breeds can exert over 2000 pounds of pressure with their jaws. It's an impressive number and an enormous exaggeration. So how is a bite force measured? This is done by measuring their PSI. So what is PSI? PSI is the measure of the bite force that your dog can bite with. You measure a dog's bite force in pound force per square inch, PSI, or pounds per square inch. Researchers measure this using digital bite meters. It's difficult to measure the exact bite force of dogs because they won't bite as hard every time, and they will bite harder if they're provoked. The force they can chow down on depends on the shape of the jaw and the size of the dog's head. In the past, scientists have even electrically stimulated unconscious dogs' jaws with a current to find out the measure of the bite force, a horrible, unethical way which I'm sure now has been banned. But using these past stats and other methods over the years, results have gradually been compiled to which we can now access. Every dog breed we see today has the ability to deliver a life-changing bite if they should choose to do so. And although your dog should never have to use their bite, it's still good to know how powerful it can be. The dogs today on Animal Watch's top five list have jobs that require a higher bite force PSI. Due to this, they are considered to be more aggressive. All dogs, however, have the capability of being aggressive if put into highly negative situations that induce anxiety and vulnerability. So let's start at number five and count down backwards to the dog with the most powerful bite in the world. Who do you think it's going to be? Number five. 
At number five, we have four breeds with matched PSI readings. The Dog de Bordeaux, the Toza Inu, the English Mastiff and the Tibetan Mastiff at a phenomenal PSI of 556. The family-friendly English Mastiff is considered to be the heaviest dog breed on earth, weighing up to a massive 100 kilograms for a male. The world's heaviest Sorba was set to weigh 155 kilograms. Wow. Praised by those who own the breed, this Mastiff is good with families, including those with younger children. Despite being a gentle giant, the English Mastiff has a bite force of 556 PSI. And no wonder looking at the size of his jaw and skull. They can grow up to be 27 to 32 inches high. Trusted to guard families, he can be very territorial to those he loves and very protective. He is trusted enough to not be banned worldwide, but does appear on dangerous lists in certain countries. The Toza Inu draws with the English Mastiff with a joint PSI of 556. This dog of Japanese descent is currently banned in many countries, including the UK, Bermuda, Cyprus, Iceland, Norway, Israel and United Arab Emirates. He was originally bred for fighting and he still is legally able to fight in Japan, where dog fighting controversially has not been outlawed. He can weigh up to 61 kilograms and stand 32 inches high at the withers. In Japan, they are considered to be the equivalent of sumo wrestlers and are even depicted in wrestling accoutrement. The Dog de Bordeaux is the third breed to tie in fifth place with the Toza and the English Mastiff. Again, another giant Mastiff breed made for guarding, herding and pulling carts. Males can weigh up to 65 kilograms and stand at 67 centimeters at the shoulder. Due to his muscle mass, despite not being as tall as some feared breeds, he is dense. And this helps him use his strength in combination with that also familiar giant wide mastiff mouth again. Also in joint fifth, the Tibetan Mastiff with a PSI of 556. The Tibetan Mastiff is an extremely hardy dog of ancient origins, used to living in hospitable conditions looking after his flock. Males can weigh 72 kilograms and stand at 26 inches at the shoulder. His thick coat helps him repel wolf bites as his huge mastiff mouth delivers his wide 556 PSI crunch. He's certainly impressive and some recent additions from Chinese and Russian breeders have increased the size dramatically. However, with ill health and interbreeding, workability can drop, so appearances aren't everything. At number four, the Caucasian Shepherd. The Caucasian Shepherd has found to have a bite force of between 500 to 700 PSI, depending on the circumstances. He is a guardian breed with a huge wide mastiff head and mouth. His job is to chase off and if needed, take down a wolf. He was developed in Georgia in the Caucasian mountains, but has been claimed by Russia to be in fact their dog, as he has been used to stop escaping prisoners from high security prisons in Russia. He stands at a huge 76 centimeters at the withers and weighs around 70 kilogram. This dog is pretty tough and his huge thick coat adds to his protection from wolves as he delivers his deadly bite. He's big and he's powerful, but he's not our number one. Number three, the Cana Corso, with a staggering 700 PSI reading, a huge leap up from the dogs we have mentioned so far. The Cana Corso was bred in Italy and are descendants of the original war dogs of the Roman Empire. They are soft and affectionate dogs who, despite their stoic appearance, make great friends for the whole family, which is why they are one of the world's most favorite and chosen protection dogs to live inside the house. However, with a 700 bite force PSI, this breed is a threat to anything that poses a danger. Males can weigh 50 kilograms and stand at 70 centimeters at the withers. Now it's getting exciting now. Who do you think has made second place with the world's most powerful bite? 
At number two, it's the band dog. The American band dog has a whopping bite force of 730 PSI. This breed is a crossbreed between a bulldog and a mastiff. The American band dog needs proper training or it may become out of hand and even dangerous. This recently recreated breed is based on mastiff type dogs used in the Middle Ages who were let out at night to guard property. Another huge mouthed mastiff whose energy and feisty nature means he can deliver a really nasty high pressure bite. As band dogs can vary greatly due to different dog mixes, these results were based on the few band dogs able to be measured at the time. This may not be representative of all band dogs and this breed is not a standardised breed with the American Kennel Club or any other major canine group. Males stand approximately 76 centimetres at the wither and weigh 57 kilograms. If he is trained well, he can be a great companion and family friend, as can all dogs. Let's face it, you do not want to be on the end of a whopping 730 PSI bite. And at number one, have you guessed it? Who is king of all the bite forces in the entire world? It's our king of the dogs, the Turkish Kangal, with a staggering 743 PSI bite. They have the strongest bite force out of any dog breed in the world. The Kangal is a popular dog breed in Turkey, used for defending their owner's property, farms and land. He was created as a flock guardian and the reason he is so powerful is his bite has to be competitive to the predators he defends his livestock from, namely our wolf, and sometimes he needs to chase off bears. The Kangal male can grow to be 85 centimeters and weigh 60 kilograms on average. However, there are other Kangal types much taller and much heavier. While this dog has a very high bite force PSI, it is a gentle giant when it comes to younger children and his human family members to whom he is gentle with and protects with his life. This breed requires proper socialization when a puppy in order to make sure he is okay with meeting strangers at an older age. But if he is required to be an antisocial farm dog, his nature will make him this way without training, as he is naturally independent, powerful and guarded. Now, I know some of you will be questioning these findings, but please remember that these dog bite forces were recorded and measured by scientists. There might be some dogs that you can't believe didn't make this list, such as the Pitbull, German Shepherd, Rottweiler and Malinois, etc. Despite these dogs' phenomenal working abilities, their bite forces just didn't make the top five list, sometimes due to their body size, skull size, mouth size and weight. This is why our giant mastiff breeds make the top five over the other breeds, as they are huge, heavy, with giant heads and jaws. Okay, so just for you guys, I have compiled a top 20 list of all the other dogs which didn't make our top five. Now, if you don't see his name on that list, it's probably because he's a rarer dog breed and there's simply no findings in order to put him on that list. So it doesn't mean he shouldn't be on there. We just don't know the results. So at number six, it's the Preza Canario with 540 PSI. He almost made our top five, but didn't quite. Number seven, Dogo Argentino with 500 PSI. Number eight, the Borabel with 450 PSI. Number nine, the Wolf Dog with 406 PSI. I believe that some high content wolf dogs would be much higher as they would be more genetically similar to the wolf. But for average's sake, he sits here due to insufficient evidence. Number 10, the Leonberger with 399 PSI. Number 11, Akita Inu at 350 to 400 PSI. Number 12, the Rottweiler at 328 PSI. Number 13, Siberian Husky at 320 PSI. Surprising her, huh? that fluffy little thing can really pack a punch. Number 14, African Wild Dog at 317 PSI. He tears animals to pieces fast, but he does it as a pack, so bite strength doesn't need to be huge when in numbers. 
Number 15, the American Bulldog or American Bully and Bully Cutter with a joint 305 PSI. Number 16, the Doberman with 245 PSI. Number 17, the German Shepherd, the Great Dane and the Filler Brasileiro with a joint 238 PSI. And in joint 18, the American Pitbull Terrier and Alaskan Malamute with 235 PSI. Surprised, huh? Number 19, the Labrador Retriever at 230 PSI. And finally, at number 20, the Dutch Shepherd and Malinois at a joint 224 PSI. And here are some other fascinating facts about other huge, powerful bite forces in the animal kingdom. Large cats are very strong. A jaguar can reach 700 pounds of pressure and the Siberian tiger, 950. A lion only has 650 PSI. Surprising that. However, a hyena can bite down with 1,100 pounds per square inch and they've been known to chase off lions to claim food. Their teeth crush bone to a pulp, so have terrifying bite forces that you simply do not want to experience. When it comes to our primate cousins, the gorillas are the largest and the strongest. An adult male gorilla can bite down with a strength of 1,300 pounds per square inch. Now, that doesn't mean that you should fear gorillas. They are herbivores, peaceful and shy. But if he needs to defend his family, he certainly has the tools to do this. The American alligator has a bite strength of 2,125 pounds per square inch, sharp teeth and powerful muscles to hold on to their prey. So I guess you think I'm pretty nuts to have swam underneath one in the Florida Everglades. This still pales compared to the Nile crocodile that can close their mouths with a pressure of 5,000 pounds per square inch. This is not something I will be swimming with, rest assured. The great white shark has a bite force of 4,000 pounds per square inch, and the hippopotamus, considered to be one of the most deadly and angry animals on planet Earth, has a PSI of 2,000 and can literally bite you in half makes our human bite of 162 PSI seem pretty measly. So thank goodness we don't need to use our teeth for defense. And before I go, I'm going to announce our competition winner from the Bully Cutter episode two weeks ago. The answer to our question was black. And the winner who was randomly drawn is Iron Mike. So thank you, Mike. And here's a big hello and shout out to you and your YouTube channel, which is here. Thank you, Iron Mike, for watching and supporting Animal Watch. Let me know which prize you want and send us your address for posting by going to www.annikasvenska.com and filling in the contact box. And if you enjoyed this episode, remember to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner. And be sure to tune in every single week where I will be bringing you more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue, facts and conservation. Bye for now.